from the Daily Caller, Rachel Stolzfus. Ready for this one? At least 15 U.S. citizen terrorists are also legal immigrants. Dozens of the U.S. citizens arrested in recent years on terror-related charges are immigrants admitted to the United States legally who later obtained citizenship. And I'm sure they all come from the Vatican. I'm sure they're all Christians named Johnson and Smith and Flaherty and whatever. More than 70 U.S. residents have been publicly arrested and charged with conspiring to help, attempting to help, or actually helping terror networks such as Islamic State in recent years. At least 15 of them received U.S. citizenship after being admitted to the country legally, including one of the Boston bombers. Here are five examples. Hey, knucklehead Obama, I'm talking to you. All your little staffers, they're uh, transcribing what we in talk radio say, which is why you hate us, I know. Two immigrants from Pakistan who later applied for and received U.S. citizenship were convicted of plotting to detonate a bomb in New York City in 2012. Wait a minute. What happened to the widows and the orphans? Were they widows and orphans? I don't think so. They were sentenced to a combined 55 years in prison. Federal prosecutors accused a Somalian immigrant who became a U.S. citizen of plotting to, quote, go to a military base in Texas and kill three or four American soldiers, execution style, unquote. Now, the man who trained with a terrorist group in Syria and was told to return to the U.S. and carry out an act of terror. Still no widows and orphans there. An immigrant brought by his U.S. family from Kuwait at a young age and later approved by U.S. citizenship killed four Marines in a shooting rampage at two military centers in Chattanooga, Tennessee. You remember that. It was last July. A woman born in Saudi Arabia. May I say again, a woman born in Saudi Arabia who obtained U.S. citizenship and taught preschool in Queens, New York, was arrested on terror charges in April. She and her friend, also living in Queens, pledged allegiance to Islamic State and considered bombing a police funeral. FBI raids on their apartments turned up bomb-making materials, including propane tanks and a pressure cooker, in addition to bomb recipes and jihadi literature. An immigrant from Ghana who obtained U.S. citizenship was arrested in June, charged with conspiring to support a terrorist group, after investigators allegedly found he was plotting a terror attack in New York City's landmarks in name of the Islamic State. And the Obama administration has ignored a request from Senators Ted Cruz and Jeff Sessions for a detailed immigration history of 72 U.S. residents arrested in the past year on terror-related charges. Now, how can we possibly trust this administration, this president, this federal government, with what Obama hopes will be hundreds of thousands of refugees coming from Syria. Don't panic. Don't be hysterical. This is what America's all about. No, it's never been about this. Oh, yes, yes, don't you know? All the Germans fleeing Nazi Germany at the time. We let in hundreds of thousands of them. Didn't matter that it was the Third Reich. Oh, we didn't? Oh, no, we didn't do that. That's right. All the Japanese fleeing Imperial Japan. That's right, fleeing Tojo. We let them in by the hundred... No, we didn't? Oh, we didn't. No, folks, this is not what we do. I can't even think of a time when we did something like this under similar facts. This is asinine. It's nothing to do with the Jews in the 1930s, nothing to do with the Vietnamese in the 1970s. It has nothing to do with anything. And this is not what this country is about. Let me remind you again, for the thousandth time, the purpose of immigration, even the purpose of allowing refugees in this country, is to help America. We have a big heart, and it is amazing to me that the same president who says we have racism in our DNA, the same president who believes this is a racist country, then turns around as if he's schizophrenic and goes on and on about American values. Really? Well, when it comes to our police officers, you reject American values. Oh, it's true. You see a racist everywhere. And yet, you seem to be arguing now that American values are being, uh, are being trashed if we don't take in hundreds of thousands of people from Syria. Folks, this is insanity. This is incoherent. But you know what's going to happen tomorrow? The Republicans are rallying around a bill pushed by Paul Ryan. And this idiot Bob Corker, anything Bob Corker is attached to, you know, is a problem. This idiot Bob Corker thinks it's the sweet spot. His phrase, not mine. It's the sweet spot. Now, what's the sweet spot? 
Well, apparently the legislation is going to direct the President of the United States to really, really vet these people. It's not going to prevent them from coming here. It's just going to really, quote-unquote, promote, force, advocate that they really, really vet these people. Well, how are you really, really going to vet these people when the FBI director said a few weeks ago, and I played it twice, I won't play it again, this is a different situation, quote-unquote. Doesn't Paul Ryan get this? Don't the Republicans on Capitol Hill even get this? Let me tell you what Paul Ryan's up to. He does not want Obama to shut down the government. And he will surrender everything. So this is another fig leaf. This is another head fake. This won't be signed into law by Obama, this separate piece of legislation. But I don't even, it's not even going to be a separate piece of legislation. They could go ahead and attach it to the omnibus bill if they want, and Obama wouldn't have any problem with it. In fact, they probably worked it out in advance behind the scenes, as the Republicans are wont to do with Obama. But it's not going to stop anyone from coming here. And it's not going to stop us from not having access to this so-called database. There is no database. It accomplishes nothing. So here are some perfect examples at the Daily Caller. Fifteen citizen terrorists. Immigrants who were given granted citizen. I guess they were hiding in the shadows. Doing jobs Americans wouldn't do, like blowing up our cities. You know, stuff like that. We don't learn. You know, I shouldn't say that. We the people do learn. We the people do get it. It's the mouthpieces in the media. It's the political hacks. They don't get it. 